Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. Andrea here. Just a disclaimer, this is an adult hobbies channel. We focus primarily on a hobby such as reading, photography and mostly colouring at the moment. Um, so yes, this is an adult channel. It's not intended or made for children. Um, so you should be over 18 really to view this because we do discuss adult topics. Today we're doing an unboxing. Yes, I finally, well not finally, I only dispatched them the other day received from Arteza my 120 set of the Arteza Everblend alcohol markers. What made me laugh is I ordered them from Arteza directly and they actually got them shipped from Amazon. Now the reason I ordered them from Arteza and not Amazon was that they were actually cheaper on the Arteza website in the sale. They were around £119 on Amazon which I think is what they're on the, on the website but I ordered them on New Year's Eve. They were on sale at that point for £80.99. The next day they went down to £71, but I'm happy with £80. Um, so, yeah, so it's a bit bizarre that, uh, that Arteza actually asked Amazon to send me Arteza's product. So, here we are. This is me unboxing. It is a big thing. So, it's, the camera's as far out as it'll go. So, let's just get this out and get rid of the box, which should be going in recycling because it's a bit battered so it's not going to be any good for me to reuse on my eBay business. So here we are, it's come in this plastic bag so I'm just going to take this out. So as you can see, this is the first time I've seen them. I've seen them on the internet and other people's channels but I haven't actually physically seen them in person so I'm just going to oh dear, just, I haven't got the strength today. I've got a pair of handy dandy scissors here. So obviously I will put the scissors away once we've finished and I'll also throw this packaging away safely so that it doesn't, so that Jenna can't get hold of it. At the moment she's not interested in anything plastic but just to be on the safe side. Just put that out of the way. So here we are. Here is the lovely Arteza case. You can see it's still got the original tag in on it. I'm just going to get that off because I don't need that anymore. So I'm very excited to get and start using these. So we have the extra strap. I'm not going to take that off. I'm quite likely to use it. It's uh, a nice case. Obviously I have seen this on people, other people's channels. Um, so I know that you've got these clips. And then you get some really strong Velcro. So this is the first time I'm seeing them and like... Ooh, nice. Look at all the pretty colours. Now, uh, Arteza do four different sets of markers. They do the, of the Everblend. They do the 60 set. They do the 120 set, which is this. And then they have a grey set and a skin tone set. So, obviously, it opens up like this. They're all in a pretty good order, colour order, actually. So we've got all the pinks and reds, yellows, greens, blues purples to earth tones, flesh and greys, a few browns, very very nice and of course it opens up like this so you can do that, I know you, cause you've all seen this, you can take these middle bits out, I'm not going to, so yes, so in the grey set, I mean I think there's, I, I don't know, I personally don't get why people need so many greys, I'm, I'm not into grey, um, but fair enough. From what I understand, 33 set of greys, 12 of those greys are in this 120 set, I believe. And But out of the skin tone and earth tone 33 set, it's called skin tone set, only three are in this set. So out of the two other sets, it would be worth getting the skin tones, I think. I, I probably will get the greys at some point, but the next one I'm going to save up for is the skin tones. So... These are very nice. Look at that red, wine red. Oh, it's stunning. Look at them. So you've got some extra slots. You've got a whole set of extra slots here and a whole set of extra slots there. So you can put in some extra markers. Um, if you've got the skin tone sets and that, the ones you use the most, you can pop in. Obviously, you're not going to put the three or the 12 that are already in here. You're going to keep those separately for another day. So... We're going to swatch some of these out. We might do them all. I've actually left my pen. Ugh. Excuse me while I lean across to get it. Oops, there we go. I was doing some eBay stuff, so I have my pen's in a different location. 
so I have bought a new colour chart book specifically for this. It is the Jade Summer one, which I know the qualities aren't that brilliant on these. Um, and the, this paper does tend to soak up the ink, but what we're going to do is I'm just going to pop a piece of paper behind it to stop any bleed through. I'm going to, I'm, I'm left handed, I've got no space to my left because everything gets stuck there. I'm going to move those over there. My diamond paintings over there as well at the moment. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't shown you the whole of the back of, of the case, so it's a, but a lot of other people have done it where they show you that you've got this little pocket, zip pocket here that you can put things in. Maybe some of the markers you can't get in if you've got the 33 skin tone or grey skirt set. You could put them in there and then you've got these attached swatch cards. But we want to see the colours for ourselves, don't we? We want to see what they actually look like on paper. And of course, I've got a lot of Jade Summer colouring books. So Jade Summer is one of the books I probably will be using them in. So I'm just going to focus in. I'm going to lower the camera head because it's up very high for the unboxing. So I'm just going to move you down. I could have turned you off really, but there we go. We'll zoom out a bit now. We're a bit closer. That's better. And... So we've only got a tiny little box on here, which is fine. I'm left-handed, so you'll have to excuse me. So I do understand that this, this can be quite difficult to get in. So we're just going to start with the, the pinks. We're not going to put them in any other colour order. We're just going to do it on this. So the first one we've got is Cherry Blossom Pink. So the number is A489. Blossom Pink. I am very excited to do that. I know you can't see it at the moment, but it's just up there in my terrible handwriting. I'll just zoom it in so you can see. It's just a problem with these, this book and this camera. I'm just going to have to arrange it so you can see it slightly better. Um, hmm, yeah. I'm going to have to turn it upside down for you to see it, funnily enough, for now. Um, so let's just have a quick look at the pens before we do anything. We'll, yeah, we'll zoom out a bit. So they are a triangular shape. You have your chisel point. I've got to be honest, I don't really use a chisel point. I don't like them very much. And your bullet point. So this one is cherry blossom pink. Now they are going to look a bit odd on this paper because it is very, very thin, you know, Amazon paper. So it's not really going to look very bright, but it's a decent enough colour that you, you could use that, as, I guess, as a flesh tone, maybe. Um, now, I have heard it's hard to get these back into the slots. Well, it's not too bad. It could be worse. I'm going to have to turn it around now so I can write on it. There we go. You can see that better now, anyway. All right. So we'll see it as it colours, so... This one is Aurora Pink and it's A48. So, see, as you can see, that colour has dried a lot nicer now. It's not easy actually swatching these. Again, we're using the bullet tip. I might use the... Um, Chisel tip in a minute, just have a look at it. There's that one. Very nice. You know, they're not that difficult to slot back in, you know. They're really not that bad. Um, bubble bath pink. Ooh. A four, eight, one, seven. Now, people have said. that these are, make no sense, the numbering. So we're gonna have a look at the, the chisel now. That's gonna speed things up for us because it took quite two seconds to do it. So we will use the chisel from now on for this. So they're still going in quite easy, it's not too bad. Blush pink, gosh, this is very bright. And it's a, Four, eight, eight, nine, 
blush pink and what I'll do is I'm going to keep this book for either markers or any other Arteza products I get like I said the next thing I'll probably get will be the um, the skin tone so I will just do them on the next page Uh, well, or the next whatever it is. Oh gosh, bubblegum pink. A888. Bubblegum pink. Now, I don't use markers, I think I've told you before very often. So, as you saw in the last video, the colouring chat video for the idea of the colour in heaven one from Dark Fantasy, um, I'm not used to using them but uh, I want to try and do more and that's why I bought these so I'm not losing that one this is going to take a while this might be a fairly long video so those of you who like the long ones this is A323 I cannot spell fluorescent pink so yeah, I'm not going to be the best at doing this sort of swatching thing as I'm left handed so I have my camera to the right of me because it makes life a little bit easier but it's very difficult. So these pigs are varying shades and they are really gorgeous shades of pink. So many, it's lovely. Uh, next is A4886. And this is Cerise Pink. Now I plan on starting a new colouring chat very soon. We will be colouring in Whimsy Girls at Work. This is already 12 minutes long, you know. And we'll be using these markers. So this is A4887. Hot pink. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on the camera because sometimes it stops recording at around 25 to 30 minutes. So. so at the moment hot pink doesn't look very hot but I think that is the paper because as you can see they're drying really nice. Very slowly but they are. So I am really liking these pinks. So the next one is fuchsia and that is a four eight six I'm not quite liking my handwriting on this I must admit so let's have a look at this one. Oh yes and I also want to do some more work in the Nick Philbert book Serene um I've done one picture in there and I used the touch five so I really want to use these ones in there to see how they go so this is A403 like I said the numbers really don't mean anything crimson red now anyone who knows me knows that red is my favorite color I guess I've always associated it with glamour and Hollywood and Marilyn so I guess that's why so I'm really looking forward to seeing how these reds are. Cherry red, A44. So yeah, I got these this afternoon. I had to pick them up from my neighbour because the Hermes driver for once actually delivered to my neighbours. It normally doesn't, so I'm really glad he did. So I picked them up from my neighbour and I stashed them under the table thinking I can't do this until Paul and Jennifer have gone to bed. And I've been dying to get my hands on them all day. This one is A45 Raspberry Red. And um, I've been dying to look at them. So it's getting quite late. And I've got work tomorrow. So right, that's that lot done. We need to flip the thing. And we move down the next red. I'm just going to have a sip of tea. I've got a cup of tea here. This is the one I picked out thinking this looks lovely. This is wine red. Alright, so let's put this on. The number is A415. Oh, 
I might need to find another way of, of filming really because it's quite hard doing stuff like this. Colouring is not too bad but you look at that. That's almost like, like blood colour. <laughs> you know, it's not, but it looks almost like it. Because it, it's so, oh, I was getting this one a little bit difficult. Um, dark on the page at the moment. I'm sure it'll dry lovely. Next one is Ruby Red. So I wasn't expecting them to arrive today because they did say three to five working days. And um, they shipped on the 6th and it's the 8th. They ship late on the 6th and I, I was checking yesterday and everything to see where it was on the Hermes website and it was like, yeah, we've got it, but it's not with your drive yet. 8, 4, 10, rose, red. So, um, yeah, I was pleased when I got home and I saw the card from Hermes and I thought, oh no, Hermes, what have you done with them? And then I saw they delivered them next door and I was like, yes. So I'm sure you've all seen the reviews of these online. This is just my little one where you've got, it tells you that that's a chip, the um, bullet point, but you've also got the red, the, the colour banding around there. So you know that it is the bullet and the chisel is there. So I haven't written the number down on this one because that was silly of me because I didn't, but I'll do it now. Which is tomato red or tomato if you're in the UK, A414. Tomato red, lovely. This is, these are lovely colours, so just have a zoom out and a quick look at the first page. So yeah, I'm not in my normal right space, but look at the colours, they're so vibrant on here. I really like them. We'll zoom back in and we'll go back up to the top. Top of the page, we don't need to go there, that's fine. Right. So the next one is a412 and it's just red. A412 red. So when you see me colouring with something like markers, I always work from right to left because being left handed I can usually end up with a lot of colour on my hands. So do try and avoid it. Don't have that problem when I'm actually just writing. Um, moving up to the oranges now. Lovely. Punch pink. Ooh. A413. I must say I am impressed with the colours. Um, so this is the first Arteza or Arteza, however you want to pronounce it, product I've ever bought. I don't think it'll be the last. I do want to try the pencils. Hey, three o two. Oh, here we go. F L U O R. Essent coral. Ooh. In other words, fluorescent orange, but let's just call it coral. Sorry, that's me being sarcastic. There we go. I like the, the satisfying snap when you put the caps back on. It's so nice. I love it. A416, and this is just coral. I do like the sound of the, the cap snapping back on. It's a, such a nice, satisfyingly definitive, definite, yes, the cap's back on sound. So yeah, I'm really liking these so far. No problems yet. Vermilion. Now, for me, Vermilion is more red than this, but I guess... I've put two L's in it instead of one. Doesn't matter. I know what I mean, don't I? <laughs> so yes, I don't know if you're enjoying this because it's going to be quite a long video or is it 20 minutes and we haven't even done half of them yet. So There's not many oranges to be fair. I think there are some muted oranges in the um, skin tone set. So I'm going to have to get those next. A9, four, two, three. Pumpkin orange. So I will leave uh, links to the Arteza UK and the Arteza America websites 
in the link. I'm not an affiliate with them. This is the first thing I've bought off of them. I'm very impressed with them so far. I'm impressed with their customer service. They all seem like really great people over there. A two, four, nine, seven cut but what I do like and I will order them direct from Arteza rather than from Amazon because uh, I've got if you sign up and get an account with them you get loyalty points which transfers into money so I think I've got like a five pound voucher off my next purchase if I want to or tentatively I can save them up and buy something else a bit later on and you get you have to use it within a year and you get so many points for just signing up and then you get points for everything you buy as well and then bonus points for like logging in <laughs> so, very odd but um, I'm not going to complain which makes I mean if you order from their websites and like I said at this oops Tuscan Sun um, on this occasion they were cheaper on the on the Arteza website than they were on Amazon plus the loyalty points and free shipping even though they got them sent out from Amazon um, I think it's really really good so definitely going to buy from them directly I think a nine three seven pineapple yellow so if you want to I can do a uh, diamond painting update I have completed a fair bit more of it it is coming on I will tell you more about all that I'm going to be ordering some more soon that I want next one is A935 and that is a bumblebee yellow if you want to see somebody using these while you're waiting for me to do mine um, if you head on over to John the Bibliophile Colourist's channel, he recently did um, one of the Hannah Lynn pictures from Steampunk Darlings. He did Cat and he used the Arteza markers as a base and then he went in and did some shading with pencil afterwards. He's also got some good videos on it is saffron yellow um, on his channel about the markers and a lot of other Arteza products so this is the first video of this type that I've actually done on my channel because I usually get stuff and I'm so excited to have it I can't wait and just to just get on and start using it A944 sunflower yellow but as somebody who doesn't really use markers, I thought it might be interesting for you to see what I make of them and how I drop the top on the floor. Excuse me a minute. Okay, I'm back. The top actually went under the tripod, so I actually had to move the camera out of the way. So the next one is A934 and it's honey yellow. Hopefully by doing that it'll have actually it'll actually stop it from shutting off at 30 minutes or 25 minutes, which we were close on to already. That's that one. So yeah, as I don't use markers, I thought you might find it. Oh I can't hardly read that, it's so bright. Might be interesting for you, you to see how somebody who doesn't really use markers a lot, especially alcohol markers, finds them. A9 Four to four, and the uh, yellow. Now, I'd like to say that people say, "Yeah, if you want to use alcohol markers, Copics are the best." I cannot afford nor justify buying Copics, especially you know I've got a young child. Um, she comes first, so if she needs something, that money goes on her. So. A set of Copics would have cost several hundred quid. So to be able to get 120 decent markers for 80 quid while they were in the sale, it is a good thing. So A9432, and this is yellow ochre. Excuse me a minute. 
excuse my terrible handwriting. I don't like it when it looks like this. So I just cannot justify buying Coke Picks. I can't afford them. I've got more important things to spend my money on at the moment. So I can justify buying these. But that's it really. That's in the wrong way. I'm going to have them all the same way around. There we go. Next one is Pear Green. Oh, that's an interesting colour name. And that one is A9431 Pear Green. Now, I did find with the Touch 5 markers, you'd have colours that were like oh, burnt orange and ochre and burnt sienna or burnt umber. And they all look the same colour and it's sort of like this colour. And they all look this, this colour. So I'm hoping well, that looks like a pear green. But uh, and at the moment, all these colours are, are lovely. There's a nice selection of greens. Not a huge selection, but a nice selection. So next is sapphire yellow. We're going back up to the top now. And this is A945. A945. I like it this time of night when everybody's in bed and it's really quiet. It's when I catch up on my YouTube because the rest of the time it's all CBBs. At the moment it's like, she gets up and it's BBs. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, these are really nice. Nobody ever mentions the smell. So the smell is really nice. A5948 lime green. Now I know that um, some alcohol markers smell really, really strong. Um, for instance, um, the Touch 5 do, and uh, some of them smell of almonds. Sharpies smell very strong. These just have a very pleasant odour. I think it's quite pleasant. I'm not going to sit here and sniff them, obviously, but it's not overpowering. It's just really nice. A301 Neon yellow I, I the way these are drying on this page they look really good i've got to be honest and i'll show you that before we turn the page and go on to the next one so like i said we'll do a current chat in the next start a current chat in the next couple of days using this in the uh, whimsy girls at work so it's a five nine five nine pale green quite a dark green for a pale green isn't it it's a nice color though but of course it's wet so it will be darker than when it's dried so and i'm just gonna have a sip of my tea oh this is nice so yeah this book i'm gonna keep specifically for a teaser products i think a five nine four seven spring green so the next thing I will do is buy the, when I can afford it, and I don't know when that will be, the skin tones, but of course I will uh, unbox and swatch them for you if you'd like. And uh, then eventually I'll buy, after that once I've got them, I will buy the greys and I will swatch the different ones in that one uh, as well before moving on to the twine markers or the fine liners or the pencils. A546. Apple green, but it's going to have to wait until I've got some spare money. Oh, that's gorgeous. Because we're still not far at Christmas. I really shouldn't have bought these, but I have got some money saved. So I thought I'll, I'll treat myself. A942 olive green. And one of the reasons I wanted to buy these it's because my Touch 5 markers are running out. They're drying up. I think I've thrown around two or three of them just before Christmas. And while they do still work, I will still use them. There are going to come times when I'm thinking, no, I need to, you know. But I will keep the bag because that will be handy for putting something else in, like my fine liners that I've got. So A543 Moss 
green. So from what I understand, you can buy packs of individual colours of these as replacements, but you have to buy four. But then if it's one that runs out, I'm assuming it's a colour that you use a lot. Um, but uh, I'll find out from our teaser as and when I need them. You know, if I run out of a colour, I'll contact them and say, is this available singly? Because I don't really want to have to buy another 120 just to get this one colour. Even if I have to buy four of them, it's better than buying 120. A2552, which is Hunter Green. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Even though it's really dark because it's wet, it is gorgeous. Next is Forest Green, A555. Ooh, I'm looking forward to colouring with these. And I thought it was silly to spend, what was it, 60 quid? Although they were down to 40 on the on the, the 60 set, when I could get the 120 set for 80 quid, which was, had a huge saving on it. Jungle Green, A2553. Jungle Green. So, yeah, I mean, they're not on sale at the moment. They are back up to their normal price, I believe. Um, I'm assuming it was a Christmas holidays sale, but I'm sure they will have sales further on. They do every now and again. Um, you'll see coupons on Facebook for 30% off, so it's worth keeping up on for them as well. Having a look at those. A556 Cactus Green. So this looks a bit dark for cactus because all the cactus I've ever seen have been quite light. Cacti. Oh, it's a nice colour though. Very nice colour. Fern green. Eight, two, five, five, one. Fern green. Good selection of different greens, lights to dark. Really impressed with the greens. Very impressed with the reds and pinks. In fact, so far I'm very impressed with all of the colours. I can't see any problems. The green. Let's have a look at this. Five, five, four. C. Green. So let's make sure you can see the colour. Doing it with the, the chisel is a lot quicker than doing it with the bullet. Though a lot of the times I will, I mean obviously if you're using, doing a big expanse it is a good idea to use the um, chisel. A558 Peppermint Green. I can't wait to start using these tomorrow properly when we do this colouring chat. I'll be filming it. So I'm filming this on Wednesday night. So I'll be filming the colour chat on Thursday. Mm, it's quite a nice colour. I have seen see that that colour in places, so I can I can go with that being a C colour. Deep teal. Ooh. A two five five zero. Teal. Yeah, that's a nice colour as well. Obviously, it's quite funny because I've reached the end of the page and I've actually reached another set, so I've got a couple more pages, I think. So let me go that way. So let's just have a quick zoom out and a look at them all. So I'll just zoom it in so you can see from there. Have that you can see where they've dried to. These this, these ones haven't quite dried yet, but don't they look amazing so far? So what I, I gather from John is you have to let the pages dry before you um, close them, the book, because otherwise it, the colours will seep through. So I would probably just put pages in each one. So although I've only got this one at the moment. Now it hasn't really gone through at all, which is good. So we'll just zoom out a bit and we'll come up to this one. So we all are funny angle. And we're on to the, the blues now, really. Yeah, so this is, well, it says pine green, but it looks more blue to me. So we'll see what colour it is. And that is A2 
561 pine green. So to me the cap looks very blue. So let's see what it colour it comes out as. Mm, I can see why pine. Because pine does have a sort of a hint of blue to it. It's very dark. But yeah, we'll see when it dries. But we are getting to hitting the blues now. Yes. I love blue. This is teal. And this is A265 teal. I'll try and turn that a bit better for you though. No, it's... Uh, yeah, I mean it would be better if I could hold it upright, but I just can't hold that there, so I'm afraid it is on this silly angle. If I had it like that, you'd only see, be able to see bits of it, and I can't write like that. <laughs> so it's got to be where we can both uh, see what we're doing. So I hope it's not too annoying for you that it's on an angle like this. It's just so that you can see the colours really. A2557. One of my favourite blues, turquoise. That's a nice one. Oh, yes. Now, as you can see, I'm not caring that I'm going outside the lines of the boxes. It doesn't really matter. And this one is A268, A268. Arctic blue. Ooh, that sounds nice. Oh yeah, I can see using that on at Christmas and at, in winter on quick winter pictures of the ice and snow. Very much see see using that. Next one is sky blue, and that's A two six six sky blue. Look. Yeah. I might have to try and get a rig up for my phone um, so I can film on my phone rather than on this camera. The camera's brilliant, but obviously because I've got a proper tripod, it's difficult to hold it in the right place. So this is A267 Pale, oh dear, Pale Aqua Blue, I can't spell. And my, my phone is more than capable of filming. I just need to get some sort of tripod thing for it. Any ideas on what sort of tripod is good for camera phones? I, I would appreciate any advice. It's not horrendously expensive. I have a Sony Xperia. Um, and I'd be happy to film on it. The quality is really good for the camera. I use it all the time for photographing stock. So if you've got any idea of what sort of tripod for a phone that I could use for doing these sort of videos I would really appreciate your advice if you could leave some comments for me down below and recommend some products I will be happy to give you a shout out and um, have a look and see what I think because I do need something a bit easier and of course if I've got a tripod and I'm filming on my phone if you're interested we may be able to do some live streams at the moment, the only way I could really live stream would be via my laptop, which is no good for colouring. But we could do some colouring live streams if you're interested. So yeah, if you're interested in that, have a look and, and let me know what tripod I should be using. A8274, which is sapphire blue. So yeah. Um... I like, I'd love to do some live streams if I thought anybody was interested, so if you are interested let me know and what I would do is I would announce it on the channel like a week in advance and give you the times and the alternate time zone times as well and I'd, I would be doing it sort of this time at night which for me is nearly 11 o'clock at night. So ooh, that's why it's really in blue, this is always a nice colour. And that would be great because I could try and chat to you. I'd have my laptop set up um, with the video playing in the background on mute so I could 
uh, see comments and chat to you and colour at the same time. So that would be nice. So if you're interested, like I said, if, and you've got an idea of what sort of uh, tripod would be brilliant, would work, I'd really appreciate that sort of input. 264 Aegean Blue. These sort of Mediterranean colours are always amazing. That's nice. Oh, look at that. It's a good selection of blues. We're going to come up to browns in a minute. And then purples, I think. <laughs> Exciting. Okay. A8270. Mykonos Blue. Nice, very nice colour that one. Oh, it won't go back in its slot, but there we go, done it then. Ooh, denim blue, this looks nice, and that is A8272. I'm just checking it's still filming. Yeah, so. That is a nice dark blue, that one. And then we've got steel blue. There we go. Oh, that's quite a nice colour. I always think of steel as being grey rather than blue, but that is a nice colour of blue. Next one is A8269. And this is light navy blue. Oh, these are so nice. These colours are amazing. You can see that I really do like them and I haven't even used them for colouring yet. So, okay, this is an odd one to put under the blues. A5505 camo green, which actually looks grey. Tell me, does that not look great to you? I suppose it's here because, yeah, it looks great. It's going in with all the, well, we're going to purples next and then to the brown, so it's just, we'll just stick that in there, <laughs> sort of thing. That's what it seems like. We'll just stick that colour in there, nobody will notice. Uh, next one is Lilac, A884. You can still see it, which is the main thing. Yeah, that's all right. That's nice. Put that back in. Oh, these are so nice. This is going to be a heck of a long video, guys. I hope you don't mind. Going back to the top now. For A8275. Lavender. Let's see. So to me that's a very pale blue. This doesn't really look like lavender, but maybe when it dries, so. It's drying nicely. Next one is A8277 Periwinkle. I've missed an eye out there, but that's okay. It's a very, very light purpley colours. That goes in that one. If I can get it in right at the end. Just bear with me. I'll be right back. There we go. Next. So you now we've done those very sort of pale lilac-y colours and we're on to the browns. Oh no, I've gone down the wrong way. It's fine. I keep forgetting it does it backwards to me because I'm left-handed. Sorry. Lavender looks better now. Oh. A883 Wisteria Purple. Interesting. It's alright. Nothing wrong with that colour. I am really enjoying these and I'm going to love colouring with them. I just know I am. And the next one here is. A eight 
273 Royal Purple, always a nice colour, Royal Purple. Next one is, it's very dark, A881 Violet. Oh, that's nice. That is a nice one. A882 Orchid Purple. My writing's getting worse because it's getting near bedtime. Those are very nice purples, very, very nice. Next is A885 Magenta. Nice colour, I like that one. So just, I just put more of that, I decided to put that on my finger. Um, oops, wrong way. Right, next is a Burgundy. A four oh one. Very nice. Oh yeah, that's nice. A two four nine one. Okay, and next is A2494, A2494, and that's Sienna Brown. Nice. And then A2496. Brandy Rose, nice. It's a nice name. Ooh, look at that colour. Next. A2492. Hazelnut Brown. Like I said, this is a long video, so you don't have to watch it all if you don't want to. I do appreciate those of you who do stick with it. All we're doing is looking at these colours. But, uh, hmm. A4103, and this one is Ginger. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice, that's a nice colour for Christmas doing gingerbread houses and gingerbread men. The next one is A9421 Desert Sand. Next is A941 Green Tea. What a great name for a colour. Oh, that's, yeah, it's that sort of funny green colour again. But uh, I'm sure it'll dry very nice. Oh, I'm sure it will. And the next is A. Nine three six jasmine yellow. Can't believe we're already almost two pages in. I mean, yes, I know it's taken us a while to get here. It's very pale, but I like it. But it's mad to think there's that many colours, and we'll look at them all again before we finish um, the video. So, a four one oh four. 
beach sand. Okay. They're nice, they do hold nice in the um, hand, they do. Right, next is khaki. A4100. K H A K I. I know some people have problems pronouncing some of these words, but khaki. That's how it's around. And next is A4102. Coyote Brown. Oh, I thought that one was going to be dried out again, it's just the way I'm, yeah, it does, it doesn't seem to want to, that's it, flow properly through the things. First one that's done that, but like I said, I don't really use the um, chisel tip very often, so I'm not worried about that as long as the other side works. A2499, Cocoa Brown. tea somewhere which is now going cold because we've been doing this for around 45 to 50 minutes if not longer it's a nice one right next page oh, it is it's like a book we're on to pinks and then three million greys that there seem to be in these for some reason a four eight seven water melon pink now i'm sure one of you will tell me in the comments why we need so many greys because personally i don't use gray hardly at all <laughs> but i'm sure somebody will be able to tell me why we need so many greys in, in a set and then a set of 33 as well so if you want to that would be great uh, next one is macaroon pink Ooh, these are the the sort of fleshy colors now a nine four two seven Mac um, pink. Yeah, that's a flesh coloured one. And these are fleshy ones now. Which is great because they're the ones I'm gonna be using when we do our Hannah Lynn picture and it's gonna be a mess, I know it is, but hey, who cares? We're doing it for fun and experimentation and practice. A428 peaches and cream. This is obviously, definitely, these are all the flashes now. Now I will say there is one that I won't be uh, swatching and that is the colourless blender when I get to it. Yeah, it's just number uh, A0 and it just says Blender. I will actually move that one and put it somewhere else later, but not tonight. Peach, A9425. Peach. So you get 119 colours and a colourless blender, marking blender, which we will obviously be using tomorrow. So, yeah, it goes that way. That one's the wrong way, excuse me. I'm just putting the right way. Next is pale peach. This is so pale, I don't think you'll even be able to see it. It's A9426. It's practically white. Uh, the next one is the blending one, so we will leave that one and we'll skip over that. And now we're into the 10 million greys. So the first one is a 1505 Clear Water. It's an interesting name, so let's just push up and have a look. There you go. We've still got a lot to go. Oh, this one doesn't want to go back in there, is it? Right, here we go. White Diamond is next. A1503. Yeah, they've got some good names, haven't they? And they, oh, that's, that is actually quite a nice colour. But I still don't get why it needs so many greys, so please do tell me so that I can get it. 
next one is it's called Glacier Blue A251 again this might be one for snow and ice um, and, and things like that in winter pictures yeah oh that's a nice one I can appreciate the colours I just don't use them I probably just won't use them it's like my greys in the the touch fives I've hardly used them I did use them on the death picture from uh, Jade Summer's grayscale uh, grayscale nightmare stop talking and just colour because you can't speak and do it at the same time fog grey so this is one of the millions of greys as you can see that you can hardly see those they are there there's a slight hint that's quite a nice one but there are a huge amount of greys, so I just don't get it, but that's just me. A151, oops, cloudy grey. There we go. Two more on this page. We are getting there. We are heading towards the last um, folder of them, or file, I don't know what you would call it. Pearl. Ooh, that's a nice colour. And then we've got A752 Blush Grey. Maybe if you're a statue. Right, my battery's actually dying, so I'm going to have to change the battery. That's how long we've been going before we finish off. Okay, I've changed the battery and here's the finished page. You see the colours do look really, really nice. So we're going on to our third page now. And all this is going to be greys. So we'll just zoom in a little bit and go here. And this next one is called Stone Grey and it's A753. I'm spelling grey with an E, but uh, that's just the way I do it, the English way, I think. One's American and one's English, I don't think it makes much difference myself, but uh, there you go. Fog Grey, okay. Uh, Fossil, okay, A754, Fossil, I will try and spell it the way it is spelt on the pen. The and, come on. Wow. We're getting there. We're getting there now. Okay. A755 concrete grey. Flaming greys. I, I don't get it, but A756 mink. A757 seven, seven, brown grey. I totally get that colour. I actually do get that colour, I think that's a good colour to have, if it is indeed a brown grey. Minka is kind of a brownie grey actually, yeah it is, oh that's nice. I still love that snap, that snap, it just, whoa, it's just, there's just something about it. Noir. I guess. The way I'm doing it, this one now looks like it's out of the right, wrong order, but I don't care. So this is the black A5000 Noir. Oh, it's a good black. That is a good, strong one. Oh, it's hard to be next. 
Lava Grey. Ooh, ah, uh, hey. 759. Lava Grey. I wonder if it really is like lava colour grey. You know, once it's. It's uh, very nice. Deep grey. Ooh. It's getting hard to reach them now. I'm starting to turn them. Oh, the case round. The case is brilliant, but oh my god, it's heavy. <laughs> they are heavy. So this is A758. And I went browns again. Dark chocolate brown. I've gone the wrong way round by the look of it. No, I haven't. It's the way they are. It's grey, black, and then it's just the way they've done them. I don't know. It makes no sense the order they're in the case, but uh, I'm quite happy with them like that. As long as I can find them in the swatch book and think, oh, that's the colour I want, I'll be fine. I'll know where it is. Ah. Next one is just dull teal. A two five nine dull teal. Are these like add-on colours that went in the sixteen that they forgot to put in the correct section? As well, stick them in with the greys. A one five nine. Charcoal grey. Not that I have a problem. I don't want Arteza to think I don't like their product because I really do. I'm really on the strong end. I love that sound. I really like their their. I like the way they feel. They feel really nice in the hand. I think it's because it is this triangular barrel shape. A one five eight deep. Blue grey. Don't see a lot of blue in that grey, but it's still a nice grey. Maybe when it dries. I'll probably show it then. Just you never get a, a true representation of the colour on these markers until they've actually dried properly. A557 Army Grey. Oh. So as I can see them drying, I can see how different the colours are. They do dry different to the way they look when you put them straight down. A559, deep muted green. Oh, that's in my eye. So if I've been a bit quiet on this video, it's because it is late and people are sleeping in the house and next door, and I don't want to wake anybody up. A156 Storm Grey. I did it with an E again. If it's too quiet, do let me know, and I will put the external mic on next time if I can find it. It's in my camera bag, I think, which is upstairs. Um, I do have one. I just don't use it because I, I find the internal mic is generally, generally good enough. A157 Smoke. Grey. Okay, A257 Stone Blue. Oh, that's a nice colour. I know it's dark and it hasn't dried yet, but I know that's going to dry nicely. A255 Ocean Blue. This could be a nice colour. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, we're coming down this way. That's why they're all. I was just looking at thinking, which way was I going? And then I thought, well, I'm going that way because they're all messy and that's all tidy. Ah! That's upside down. A253 Powder. Blue. There we go. That's a nice, I like powdered blue, it's a nice colour. And then A5 
551 Sage Green. I wonder about the names and the colours because that does not look at green at all. A153 Silt Green. But again, it may dry with a hint of green, so, so to me these just look grey. <laughs> but like I said, they're wet. It's hard to tell what the actual colour is when they're wet, so it's alright for us to, to mock them. But they will look completely different when they dry, and they're already drying with a hint of green, I can see that. Dolphin grey. Dolphins, I've had enough of dolphins. Jennifer's got a dolphin, she carries with it everywhere. We've got it in Tenerife, but it's so filthy, it needs washing. When I was doing washing, I couldn't find it, and now my machine's broken, and I'm waiting for the man to come and repair it. Okay, A155 Koala Grey. One more after this, that's a nice grey actually. So I quite like the greys that are on in here. There are some nice different ones. Sometimes I find a lot of greys can be very similar and that's why I wonder why you need them all. But with these you've got like brown grey, love grey, um, charcoal grey, blue grey, army grey. There's some really nice greys. So the last one is a great name, I love this name. A2495 Vintage. Grape makes it sound like a good bottle of wine. Oh, now that is a nice colour. I mean, I know it's, sort of, it's grey with a hint of purple in it, with a you know, grape colour. That is a really, really nice colour. Right, let's do it over. So, we've now swatched all 119 colours from the 120 marker set. Don't forget there is a blender pen in there, so obviously we haven't swatched that. And what do we think? Well, let's have a quick look at our pages as much as we can. Um, so these reds and these pinks and yellows and greens, they're very vibrant, very bright, really nice colours, even on this pen. Now, I've got a bit of a, a seepage there because I put that against that, so that's just to show... Be very, very careful when you're using them. Let me just find another piece of cardboard to put in between those two pages. So this is my colouring paper that I use to um, pick it up. So if you see up here, we've got a little bit of seepage come through from the, the next page. That just shows you how they will bleed if you're not careful. So I've just put a page under that now to stop any further seepage. And I'll make sure there's a page in between each one now while we wait for it to dry. So the second page was this one and I don't have a page under there. Have I got anything I can put under there? I don't really want to keep using my flipping cardboard. Here's a piece of one that I was using to test the touch fives on the other day. I'm just going to stick those, that one in there. So here we have the blues and some browns. The magenta is a really nice colour there. I really like that. Burgundy's nice, brown's nice. Skin tones, which I would say from pale peach up to watermelon pink at a push. Um, limited, but not as limited obviously as the 60 set, which only had one of them in. So I think we can do, we can work with those and later on we will get the skin tone set and we will swatch those as well. And then onto the, the greys and some other odd colours that they stuck in with the greys. So, the ocean blue has gone quite a nice shade of blue now it's starting to dry. Let me just zoom in on it. As has the powder blue is a lovely colour. Sage green has a nice hint of green to it. Silt green has a hint of green to it. Dolphin grey is really nice. Koala grey and vintage grape. You can see on the camera even though it's not quite dry, a hint of purple in it. So, all in all, do I think so far that they were worth the £80? Yes, I do. There's a good selection of colours in the book now, um, in the set. I would have preferred less greys and more of the skin and earth tones, but at least they have a set available so we can go and get those separately now. I do believe the grey gray and the skin tone sets cost around £33 each. Um, but obviously we'll go into that more 
when we actually get them. So I paid £80.99 for my set of 120 Everblend markers, which I think is really reasonable. They were on sale down from, I think, they're currently on sale on Arteza. Their current price is 119 or £120, which is still good value. It works out as a pound a marker which is not bad, but for £80.99, which is what I paid, I'm very, very happy. Obviously, we're going to do a colouring chat um, tomorrow using them. We will colour it in a Whimsy Girls at work. We are only going to do the very first one. We're going to do Rosie the Riveter because that's a, a picture we can just get. There's not a lot of detail in it, but we, there's a lot of skin tone in it, so we can play with the skin tones. She's quite brown, Rosie the Riveter, so I'll have a quick look at what colours we want to use. And so tomorrow night we'll start that. So if you've made it this far, I would like to thank you for joining me on this uh, uh, Everblend, bleh, Arteza Everblend unboxing and swatching session. I've really enjoyed doing it. I really do like these colours. I'm going to enjoy using these markers and I hope to get better with markers soon. I'm still not brilliant with pencils, but I do my best. Like I said, if you can um, give me some advice on a tripod for my phone, please do leave me some links. Even if they're um, Amazon American links, I should be able to find a similar or same product in the UK. Um, but I haven't got a clue when it comes to phone tripods. For me, photography and video, and it's always been done on, on I don't want to say a proper camera because camera phones are really good, but it's always been done on like a, a DSLR or a camera like that. I do film on my phone occasionally, and some of my vlogs have been filmed on the phone but I would like to get a tripod so I can put it on the table. We can do some live streams uh, and so on. If you're interested, yeah, leave me a comment down below if you've enjoyed this a swatching session and if you'd like to see more when I get the skin tones and the grey tones because I will be getting both of those at some point as well as any other pencils that I get in the future or pens. Um, yeah, so leave a comment. Don't forget to, to give it a thumbs up so it gets more views and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I load up a new video, which is quite frequently at the moment. I'm really loving my uh, upload frequency. So I used for my swatch in the Colour Charts by Jade Summer, all your colours in one place. This is going to be reserved for Arteza. And this cost me $3.99 on Amazon. I'll leave a link to that book as well for the UK and US sites um, below the links to the Arteza UK and US websites. Um, and I might even put the link to the Amazon Arteza pens as well. So you can, you've got your choice then of where you can buy them. I am not an affiliate at UK. I am an affiliate, affiliate in, on America for some reason still. Um, I'm not worried about affiliate links. It doesn't bother me. Just go buy the pens if you want to and uh, let me know what you think. I'll see you all soon. Bye.